G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a cloud pour for you today. Uh, I have been experimenting with the Supreme Sheen, the 24K Gold and, and the other metallics, and they've worked really well. So I'm happy with the way that I can create my pearl pours. But now I need to concentrate a little bit on my cloud pours because I haven't been that happy with them. Um, so yeah, just having a little bit of a practice and I need to write down my ratios and amounts of paint and everything for this size canvas for my workshops so that I've got it all written down for the students when they come. So I need to just practice a little bit too. Um, I've done them on the bigger canvases but not on this size. So I just need to recalculate for this size. So I've basically picked sky colors, so literal clouds, so you know, bluey greens and a bit of dark purple, because that's kind of what the skies look like, I think. And then I've got my big cup of white. Everything's mixed with Floetrol today. The white is Artist Loft, but you could use any brand. Uh, well, I don't think any brand really works because my global didn't really work. Um, but uh, I've got a lot of this, so I'm using it. But if you don't have this, you could use the White Liquid Text Basics. It's really this paint that makes the clouds, the Deco Art Satin Enamels. Um, and I only use a quarter of this to this paint. Um, so one quarter to one, and then I mix that one to one with Floetrol. So one part paint one part Floetrol. With the Liquitex Basics, I mix two parts Floetrol to one part paint and then a little dash of water as well. So this one is the Dioxazine Purple and this bright blue here is Aquamarine. I'm running low on my paints. I'm waiting for my delivery to arrive. This blue is primary blue with just a drop of black and it's kind of made it into like a Prussian blue, a really dark navy-ish color and then this one I used sort of two-thirds primary blue and a third of this um, phthalo green and that's given me this beautiful turquoise color it did seem to be a little bit thicker than the others that's why I added just a little dash of more of water so that's my colors and I'm going to do a waterfall pour I've tried with the rings the ring pour and I really didn't get the cloudy effects that I wanted. So I'm going to try with the waterfall and see if maybe I can get the effects that I want with that. And I've just got a little plastic container underneath there to hold it up. I'll move it out of the way so I can layer my cup. And I'm going to kind of do like a, a kiss where the paints sort of go in half half. But I'm going to put a little bit of white in the bottom first. And then Hmm, what will I do? I'll put, I'm going to pour out of that end there, so opposite to where the little crease is. So I'm just going to pour in half and half like this, so that they're kind of staying separate. And then, um, let's turn that around and pour some turquoise and some blue in and then some white across the top I think I need a good amount of white and then let's do did I do those two together? I can't even remember what I did now it doesn't matter Pour in another two. And then some more white. enough room to pour everything in I don't think well we'll see it's not a lot left I'll just sort of layer it on the top might actually get everything out we'll see hmm. 
Maybe not all of it. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> that's full. I better not push my luck. That will do, as they say. All right, now I've got a little bit of white left over. Let's move my canvas back into the middle. And there's my little join at the back there. So I'm just going to pour in this way. And I'm just going to do like a little bit of a jiggle pour like this. A bit of a waterfall pour. See, by having the different layers of colour, I shouldn't get that spine look. Well, I'm hoping I won't get too much of that spine look. My spine and ribs, I'm hoping that I'll get more of a, a cloud effect. We'll see. Okay, there we go. Got some cells in the cup there. Move that away. And where's my torch? Let's give it a bit of a torch. Got some cells and things happening there. Don't get too close with your torch because you might burn your paint. So you just gotta be careful. Just over lightly to pop any bubbles. Alrighty, now I've got a little bit of white left here. And I think what I'll do is I'll add just a little splash of water just to thin that. I've hardly got any left at all, but just a tiny little bit of water in there just to thin it out. Just going to pop a little bit on each corner. in the bottom of the cup. Goes a long way though. So when you're doing a cloud pour, because you use so much white, just be aware of your colour choices. Don't pick colours that are too pale because the white is going to you know, make them even more pale. So try for darker colours uh, because the white is going to change them. this out a little bit and if I don't quite make it over my corners that's okay because they'll already be covered with some white. I'm not going to worry about going over the edges just yet. I can fix those up later. Okay I've got some very strange effects happening in here with the white. Still got that white line down the middle. You know if you hold your cup this way or if you stand around here and you hold the cup this way you get a different effect. Probably should have stood behind it. Um, I think I'm going to... What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'll just go straight down for now. And back. Into this corner. And back. I won't worry too much about going over the corners just yet. I want to see what's going to happen. I haven't got my marks on the table. Ooh, I don't know where to put my canvas back down. Back to the middle. Over to the other corner. always get angel wings, eh? <laughs> Not that I'm going for angel wings, but I always tend to get angel wings. Wanted clouds. Right, over the corner. And while all the paint's at the top there, up here, I'll go to the other corner.
so much for white corners. Didn't want angel wings. Never mind, maybe I can tip some of that off the bottom. Okay, now off to that corner. It looks as if I'm gonna have a blue corner and a purple corner. How bizarre is that? Back to the middle. Change direction. And there's my little purple corner. Come back. I just want to have a look at it this way. Sort of try and center it a little bit, even though I wasn't going for wings. Kind of got them. I might take it off center a little bit that way to you know just disguise the fact that they look like wings. It's not cloudy, that's for sure. I'm still having trouble with clouds. I think maybe the mix is too thick. I'd have to try again with the thinner mix. I had a few goes at this, but it's just, just not working for me lately. I've scraped so many canvases. We can't all do everything, can we? I'm just having trouble with clouds. I am. I seriously am. I can't do clouds anymore. <laughs> um, I did it once. This one, like I'm kind of happy with this one, and I've got well, except for the slug in the middle. But see, I've got cloud effects up here. I've got these little little dots happening here. I've got puffiness happening, but yeah, just don't seem to be able to to do it anymore. That I mean that was a ring pour. This is obviously a, a waterfall pour, but um, just not happening today with the clouds. I definitely think the mix is too thick. But... So I've made up some paint, some more paint. I've made it thinner and I'm going to pour over this. Don't all yell at me and say, no, I'm doing it. Um, I'm just going to, oh, I don't know, put that there so I can kind of see where it's going back again afterwards. Not, hard, not easy to do when I've got a mess there. You'll have to excuse the um, noise outside. My husband's mowing. Um, and I think I'm going to use... Oh uh, no, I'll go back to my smaller cup. I don't need a huge cup. I don't need a lot of paint because I've already got the background anyway. So let me just move this out of the way. I'm just going to do the same as I did before. I've only got four colours this time. I've taken out that really bright aquamarine, which is here. I, I didn't like it, so I've just made up a little bit of extra and just going for the four colours with the white. So put a little bit in the bottom first. And then, actually, I think I'll go purple and blue. Same thing, just split cup, just to keep the paint a bit separate. And then, well this one, I'm just gonna have to go over the top like so. Because there's only one of those. <laughs> and then a bit over the top of the white. And then I'll turn this around and do it the other way. Oops, get out of the way, green. Hopefully this mix will be a little bit better. This is three parts flow troll to one part paint. So I'm hoping maybe that will be better. And I'm just gonna go from up high with that one. I'm gonna finish it off with a bit of blue and I think that'll be it. Can't fit any more in my cup. 
and this time I'm going to stand behind it and I'm going to do a wandering waterfall. Did you guys see my gold and black and white where I kind of walked it up and down like that? I'm going to do that. So I'll just start over here. And so just in the one spot and then slowly just walk it across and back. the other way and then back again you got it back the other way again oh well, it's more white coming out now just let a bit of that go and then come back again I know there's a lot going off the edge there, but it's pretty much all that green. Which I probably should have done this. I think that's what I did last time. I walked it up and down like this. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter on the technique. I just want to get it done and see if I can get some oops clouds my cup my little bowl's gone <laughs> I can't pick it up it's got all slippery all right let's give it a bit of a torch to pop some bubbles because that all came out pretty fast and then I'm just going to move it around get a bit of movement you know clouds aren't definite shapes you know they're all sort of all over the place different layers in the sky so we'll see what see what can happen hey I'll just move it around it's not so much the design that I'm after here I just want to see whether or not this is a good consistency bottom corner and back up to the top corner it's a bit strange looking isn't it with that weird design I did it is looking more more puffy. Maybe I needed more white. Could have done with more white, maybe. Mm. I wonder what would happen if I just poured my leftover colours in. Oops. Get them in the cup, woman. got these left over I might as well use them up tomorrow I am doing my birthday pour on my birthday so I'm going to do a big Caribbean sunset the colors that I usually do for my Caribbean sunset but I'm going to do a bigger one and that is going to be for my what I'm going to do on my birthday <laughs> hopefully it works if it's been anything like today it's, today's been a very stressful day nothing's worked Scraped everything. Now let's do the white from up high. Another whole cup of paint here, you guys. I might do a ring pour with this one. Look at my mess. Let's have a look at these clouds. So over here, we're getting more of the cloud sort of formations. Um, getting some little dotted areas here and there but let's pull this out in a ring and just see what happens might have 
too much like greeny purples, not enough blues for my liking, especially since it's for a cloud pour. But that seems to be a nice consistency coming out. Sometimes the stream is a bit wobbly when it comes out, but that poured out really quite nicely. So did I tell you this is three parts Floetrol to one part Liquitex Basics and the white is two parts Floetrol to one part Harvest Loft. So a lot thinner than my previous mix was where I got my angel wings. Let's just pop those bubbles. This poor little canvas is having three pores on it. All right, here we go. Go in a big circle first. Put a little white around the edges. Not so much in the middle. And I just poured that from up high into the middle there. So I guess that's why I've got some there. I actually like that. It's not too blobby. I don't know that I would call this clouds. It's, it's more purple, isn't it? <laughs> That's for sure. Knitted more blue, but I was out of the blue. I'm getting cloudies and I'm getting little dotted cloudies, so that's nice. Let's go straight over this corner here. Keep some of that white just for now. And keep some of that white, just to see what it's going to look like. tip it off afterwards they kind of match those two corners and then these two are the darker corners well, that's more of a cloudy look isn't it I guess that's more what I'm after so maybe that's just what I've been doing wrong all weekend too thick that green's looking pretty through the purple I'm just going to torch it again and then I'm going to maybe tilt it a little bit more. But I'm, we may just get some clouds coming up on their own by the looks of it. I don't mind a few more little clouds around the edges though, so I may have to just tip some of the paint off the edges to get the paint moving and for it to create more cells. So I may take those off actually. Well, definitely this one. This one's got more of a curve there. This one's kind of straight. I don't mind that one. So let's get rid of that one with the curve. Let's get the paint, the weight of the paint where I want it to go. We'll see if by stretching this out, I can maybe get some more clouds popping up. leave that off center a little bit like that doesn't have to be in the middle well I've really made a mess today haven't I <laughs> okay so we've got some clouds happening which I'm happy about and it's not as lobby as that other one I showed you. You can actually see colours around it. So way too much paint obviously. Uh, I need to have less paint. That way I can stretch it out more. But let's just wait. I'll turn the camera off and we'll just wait and see what else happens if anything. There are little cells on the edges, whether or not they will pop up, I'm not sure. I probably didn't have quite enough white left. I only had a little bit in the bottom of the cup and I just, you know, as you saw, I just tipped it in from up high. But that seemed to have worked. Um, yeah, whether or not 
that's classified as a cloudy pour. Um, don't know because it's got the cloud in the middle, but then it doesn't have more puffy clouds around the outside. So I guess it's your definition, isn't it, of, of what you think a cloudy pour looks like. Just going to pop some paint on that corner there. She need a little bit of green. There we go. Well, I guess that's it's the best out of all of them that I've done this weekend. And yeah, as I said, tomorrow I will do my Caribbean sunset pour. I've got my colours mixed up. I've done that already. Take these gloves off and I'm going to pause the camera for a little while. I'll finish cleaning up and then I'll come back and we'll just see if anything has happened. But uh, yes, yeah, so far I think it's probably my better attempt. Um, or do you prefer that? That's got a lot more white in it. See, this one's got more bubbles and not so much cloud. That's got the cloud in the middle. I call that cloud in the middle. This one's more bubbly on the outside. So, I don't know, which do you prefer? I think I like this one better. The stark white against that darker purple. I'll just zoom you in. And then I'll wait for 10 minutes or so while I do a bit of a clean up in my studio. And then I'll, um, I'll come back and we'll see if anything's happened. Don't know that much more will happen actually. Hmm. Okay, see you soon. Alright, so it's been about 15 minutes and not a lot's changed. Um, I did tilt it a little bit up just to centre it a little bit more. But that's all I did. Um, yeah, it doesn't look as if a lot's happened. So basically what you you get at the beginning is what you're going to get by the looks of it. So let's check it out anyway. And because I poured in a ring, I've got those clouds there. Kind of look like sausages, but that's what the cloud effect is. Um, I was just wondering if I added more white and got a lot more of that cloud effect but then you kind of lose all your other colors don't you so it's a fine line so I like how we've got those beautiful dark colors on the outside and you can see the stripes of the turquoise and the purple and that well you can't really see the blue I'd run out but you've got the light purple and the dark purple and that turquoise and you've got the little bubbly bits floating around outside on the outside of the pour. Sides are pretty. So there you go. Well, I'm done. <laughs> it's exhausting doing pours, scraping them, doing pours, scraping them. But I actually did a lot of pours to realise that my mix was too thick, which is a bit strange. I should have figure it figured it out earlier but never mind figured it out nonetheless so cloud pours aren't really my favorite um, I much prefer these babies that's my silver pearl my gold pearl and my copper pearl so they're all drying at the moment so that's them. So yeah, how much prefer those to this sort of a style? Come on, focus. There we go. Good little camera. All right, I'm going to leave it for now. I've had enough. I've mixed up my colors for tomorrow. There they are. I'm going to put some damp cloths over them, ready to go for my big pour tomorrow. That's the canvas there. Whoops, there it is, standing up there on the right. That's the one I'm going to pour on tomorrow. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me through this cloud expedition. And I'll see you tomorrow for the big Caribbean 
Sunset Pool. Okay, bye for now.